what's up youtube welcome back to my channel good morning good morning if you are here for the first time welcome for the first time if you are a returning viewer welcome back it is about 7 30 in the morning i'm ready to walk through this garden see what's growing see what's going on you know i like to i'm always distracted when i get out here and i look down i like to um walk through my garden in the morning it hasn't watered i mean it hasn't rained in a couple of days and it's been really warm in ohio and so you know although i'm a little behind on my planting um the garden still needs to be watered so i've been watering every single day trying to make sure that you know i do a little bit of this and a little bit of that when i can so that um it doesn't feel overwhelming I have a lot to do but it gives me an opportunity to check out everything make sure all of my plants are doing okay looking at growth patterns of things that I haven't planted before I just put my eyes on it you know there's been changes usually every day in the garden and so you know as I water I take time to be at peace I listen to the birds chirp and um, so I thought I just would take you guys along with me. I might not do a whole lot of talking in this video, but come along with me and um, let's look at the garden and see what's going on. So this is the space. I have some things um, growing, my planters, some things not, but like these, I noticed these are sweet pea flowers. They have tendrils. They need something to grab, so I'll add some bamboo sticks there. Unfortunately, this is tied off. This was um, <sighs> what's this flower? I can't even think of it this morning. But anyway, it died off. So and you know this uh fever few and chamomile is growing very slowly i don't know why this looks like new growth but everything else looks like it's growing slowly and you see how this pot is dry it needs to be watered um so i'll go ahead and do that there's bees that are out this morning I haven't done anything see mr carpenter bee Hi, Mr. B. No flowers. My flowers are gone. But, um, you know, just looking at everything. See, this is what clay soil. This is mostly clay soil. And so, do you see how it's very, very, it's kind of whitish and hard. It's not real hard. But, it's definitely not great. Those are uh, calendulum that have popped up. So, Anywho, I'm going to go ahead and water. I like to uh, go ahead and put some things in place. This is that uh, black raspberry. It's already giving me some fruit the first year coming up. And then I just add it. Like, I, I do stuff like this when I walk through. So I walk through. I look at what I planted. These uh, red Russian kills. As I walk and turn on my garden hose. This still hasn't done anything. I don't know. I don't know if it will this year. It's not dead though. I scratched it and it's not dead. It just hasn't done anything. Maybe it was killed off. I'm not sure. I'm not 100% sure. But okay. And then I noticed my red. I mean my yellow raspberry. Is doing something. And this is what I do. I just, I look at everything like this. This is leafed out. I even notice like all the weeds. I, like I know that these weeds are something that I have to tend to. So if I see weeds like that, like even under there, they're getting kind of out of hand. And if you see that grass over there, I make a note of it to know that um, I have to tend to them. And I do all of this stuff while I get ready to water 
and my sage, my beautiful sage. Have y'all ever seen sage go to flower? I haven't. I haven't. But, you know, it will. This is my four years on sage. And then even with these, like I noticed that they haven't grown a whole lot, but they're establishing. These haven't grown a whole lot, but they're establishing. So just putting my eyes on things. This is new. I got leaves here from my hardy kiwi. It's gonna grow up this trellis. And my little blueberry buds that I'm hoping will leaf out. And all of the flowers, except for like one itty bitty one here. Here it is. See? Kwanzaa cherry. It's gone. So, I don't think that this is a fruit again. I mean, flower again. But that's okay. So, this is what I do. I walk through and I look at, like, the growth patterns of things. As I water, I won't look at my fish emulsion this morning. Uh-oh. I was stuck on something. This is my huge wood chip pile that I have to crawl over to get to my water holes. But while I'm up here, see my kale? This one, all right. Now, this one isn't doing good. I mean, it's very small, but then this one looks amazing. So, you know, I don't know, you guys. I don't know. Just like these uh, lettuces here don't look like they're doing much, but then those lettuces here look beautiful. So, you know, I never know what the growth pattern of things will be. And. It gives me an opportunity to make, like I said, an observation on what's going on in the space. Check out everything. Looking at um, that bed, if you see back there through the fence, a few of the uh, tomatoes I went ahead and planted because they were yellow and some onions too. They were yellow and I planted peas in the back and I can't remember if I planted carrots. I'm gonna leave that bit alone. Um, but I did plant some tatsoy in the front. So that's what I do. As I come through the garden, if I know it's gonna be warm, I just go ahead, give it a quick water. Go ahead and give it a quick water. And I make observations. Changes come so very quickly because it's warm outside. And when it's warm outside, the changes are there. Water is essential to, constant water, I should say, is essential to having your plants grow nice and healthy. And so, I try to water as often as I can. I'm not always amazing at it, but I do try. I do try. So, that's all I do. In fact, I normally don't have that on mist. I normally have it on shower. And when these plants get a little larger, I won't water them over here like this. I'll water them from the bottom. Um, this grapevine, as you can see, is starting to bud out. That's my newest one. That's a Concord grape. Now, I wonder why I have all these strawberry flowers, but no strawberries yet. That's strange. They usually grow a little faster than that. I don't know what's going on with that. But that's another thing that, you know, I'm making a note of and then if you look over here with me some of these tomato plants are uh, kind of leaning a little bit so I'll give them some water oh look y'all 
I have a potato that came back from last year. So, I'm going to leave it. I don't know what kind it is, but I'm going to leave it. Here are my peppers. I'll get them a spray down. Most of these are for the sale. That I keep saying I'm having, but I didn't announce the date yet. Potatoes back there have popped up. So see what I mean? A lot can happen in a matter of a couple of days. And, you know, I go ahead and give them a water. I probably got a kink in my hose because this water pressure has just gone down. I love the quiet nature um, of the morning for my um, garden. It gives me a sense of peace just to like be out here watering, giving these uh, potatoes a deep water. So one thing that I notice is something that's eating this catnip. As you can see, there go the basket. Something knocked that catnip off. Probably the cat that's in heat that is coming through here is probably eating that catnip. I, I sure wish they would leave some for me. You see, it's still there, but it's... Um, it's um chewed down again so I gotta see what's up with that that's the only thing that's been getting eaten is the catnip even this hey let me turn this hose on for a minute let me show you guys something you see my uh look how nice this uh, red acre cabbage looks this is one of the ones that I grew from seed and it's still in quite lovely it doesn't have any holes in it even this one um, that one looks really really good as well so I'm super proud of those I have never last year I tried red, red acre cabbage and I didn't get any because the animals came through and ate all my stuff up so and I got a few carrots, as y'all can see, growing in here too, coming back from last year. I had sold some carrot seeds last year. And um, they did not uh, make it because, like even these pots. Yeah, this is looking kind of dry on the top. Go ahead and water it. Just a few carrots. But... This is what I do, y'all. In the morning, I come home. I come in. I give all this stuff a quick water. I look at what changes came through the garden. If I need to pinch something off, I go ahead and do that. Even this bed back here, things are starting to grow out finally. It took a while, but consistent fertilizer, consistent watering makes a difference. Um, I water like once a week until um, I can get things established. I mean, I fertilize like once a week and I water when they need to. People always say, you know, when do I water? When do I water? It really is true that you water when things need it. I'm going to put something else in this bed back here. Um... I don't know what, maybe some peas or something. And my garlic, that looks good. It's not quite ready yet. There's some onions in this bed too in the back I put in there yesterday. But it's not a humongous deal if I water from the top. I know people say don't water from the top. Don't water from the top. And you know, for me that's especially true to keep down the soil splash and fungus. But when it rains, does it not rain on the top of the plants? I'm just saying. Does it not rain on the top? You know, something to consider.
But that's all I do. I go through. I make sure that my beds have consistent water. An animal had chewed this bed down, but all of this stuff is growing back. Um, I put a ton of onions in here. This is mostly onions. And these cool weather crops will probably be here. I won't be able to plant anything in here. Um, for now. Because this bed will be full. But even with this, like I look at the leaves and inspect. Make sure that I don't see any new holes, new divots, like that. That white moth might be getting in there. If I see new footprints, then, you know, I just address it, y'all. I just address it. And, you know, that's what I do. So, you know, water your gardens. Gardens have to have consistent watering for things to grow and flourish. And a lot of times when gardens aren't doing well, that might be why. Might be why. Might need some water. All right. If you are on your way to work, you guys have a lovely day. Um, I'm going to have a lovely day. It is Friday. And... It is officially gardening season, and, you know, it's going to be a good day. Oh, don't forget your compost bin, too. Compost bins need water. They do. They need water. So go on and put some water in them. I have a compost tote behind here, and there's ready-made compost in that green bin. And in here, I really need to stir, and I haven't done a good job with that, but, you know. In all time, all due time. All right, y'all. That's it. I will see you guys on the next video. Y'all take care. And bye for now.